Beck is on ABC News comparing Trump to Hitler. I don't want to bash Beck. He, he's done some good work before, but man, he's really doing unfair stuff. And then Friday, he talked about if I was on a stage with Trump, I'm not going to play the whole 10 minute clip, I'm going to play part of it. You can find the whole thing online. I would stab him. So the Secret Service went there. It's certainly an incitement. He went, oh, Stu says I was saying I was going to stab my co-host. No, he says, if I was on the stage, I couldn't help myself, I'd stab him. So he did it as a publicity stunt, a desperate publicity stunt, because his media system is collapsing, according to the news. And according to, I mean, I was told this a year and a half ago, they were trying to sell me his channel. Uh, you know, the people that he has his channel on. It's like he pays $25 million a year for, for a feed on cable. Like, no one watches that. They watch content and information. It's the internet. Sure, we're on satellites and on some TV systems, but that's if they want us, we're on a satellite, not a channel. You want us, we're on TV satellites, and stations are picking them up all over. But we're free to air, but we're not paying for a channel. And so, I mean, I was like, and then another TV network offered us Glenn Beck's channel way before Trump ever came out and said he was in financial trouble. I don't want him to go away. But he thinks he's a cult leader and he, that he's God. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's just sad to see him do this because if I said, you know, I want to stab somebody, I'd get in trouble. Or I guess I'd have one of my people if I said, if I was on a stage, this is quoting Trump, if I was on a stage, I couldn't help myself but stabbing. Secret Service shows up and I go, oh, I meant Nico. Right, Nico? I said I would stab you. So here's the clip. If I were on the stage, I would have said, have you been listening to him tonight? Right. Yeah, right. Have you been listening to what I say about him? And also, why right. would no, you be I actually, sitting I believe in these shoes. things. Yeah, I'm yeah. You know, not going to be, would be weird. sit in their shoes. I mean, would he have gigantic shoes? How could you be oh, sitting man, in if them? I were close enough and I had a knife. <laughs> really, I mean, I, <laughs> Wait, what? the stabbing just wouldn't stop. So they're talking about his shoes, meaning the feet, the hands, the, 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 the size of the package. They're talking about Trump. It's a publicity stunt on purpose, and he knows he's going to lie to the uh, Secret Service. That's called weasel behavior, a premeditated weasel behavior. I'm so sick of these premeditators. I'm just tired of them. And I just wish that Glenn Beck wasn't always trying to get me kicked off radio stations, wasn't always behind the scenes going after our sponsors. We have our own products, so we just cut you out of the whole mix, bro. I mean, he literally, his, you know about his whole family and the mom committing suicide and the dad and all the weird stuff? Like an Animeville horror episode. And then he'd call up other talk shows he didn't like when he heard that the wife had a miscarriage and congratulate him on a miscarriage. And Lindbeck's an evil man. And that's why he is always claiming he's such a good person is because he's a big, fat, effeminate bully. And so I won't take any pleasure in his collapse. But everybody that knows Glenn Beck hates him. I can't tell you, the Fox News people, the other talk show hosts, the people that know him, they say, my God, you've never seen a more conceited, arrogant, fake, hateful pansy. He does acting classes all day with all these pansies and literally hops around like, uh, 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 uh. I mean, he is a Liberace, folks, a piece of weirdness. In a man's world. And no wonder he doesn't like other men and people that are successful because he's he's like a, a witch. Weird, freaky women hate other women that are successful and want to push them down. That's a very bad feminine trait, I found. He's a woman. And I don't mean that to women that are real women. I mean, he's a bad woman. Lynn Beck is a haughty tart. He's a haughty, arrogant, narcissistic, cowardly piece of crap. You know, I've called in a bunch, but I just wanted to say, uh, you know, I want to pay my respects to Nancy Reagan passing. She was a true first lady of this nation. And secondly, as far as the Glenn Beck guy, you know, I, I really got a bad taste in my mouth about him when he sank the Deborah Medina campaign with, as far as 9-11 truth. But... Sure. I mean, isn't Glenn Beck discredited that it comes out? There's 28 pages that Saudi Arabia ran the attacks. Our government, bare minimum, stood down. That's members of Congress have read it. It's proof. Our own military blew the whistle. In closed hearings, they were ordered to stand down. 
We already knew that, but it's a fact, and he can call us traitors all day. He is the sack of garbage saying we're traitors. Well, uh, I, I just I, I think he's phony as a three dollar bill, and I've, I've said that for years, and that's what really kind of uh, perturbed me about him. And uh, you know, back during the Medina campaign, but you know, I'm a forgiving man. I'm a Christian. But in my opinion, if Mr. Trump's listening or Mr. Stone's listening, I think it's time to take the governor off. Let's go double barrel blast the truth. We need to hit him with, with everything. We need to I hear you, brother, and you're welcome to call in when we got open phones. A few days a week, we do a first-time caller. You're welcome. God bless you. Yeah, when I saw that Benedict Arnold Glenn Beck come out against Trump, I knew that I had to keep supporting Trump. Trump's not perfect. We'll try to keep him honest. But boy, I tell you, every sack of garbage from Tony Blair. Tony Blair says uh, he thinks that uh, Trump's dangerous, but also that he's entertaining. I'll tell you what's entertaining was you uh, faking all that intelligence on Iraq to blame him for Saudi Arabia and 9-11 and then killing over a million Iraqis. And Madeleine Albright on TV saying 500,000 dead Iraqi children was a good price to pay. You guys on TV talking about killing half a million kids and how good you are? Hell, let's give an award to Jeffrey Dahmer then. He's a, a, a humanitarian compared to you people. Man, you folks are sick. You make your jokes up there like we don't see it or hear it? I'll be honest, I was getting depressed hearing that Beck was getting ready to go belly up and bankrupt and the rest of it, but now I just say good riddance, man. Him on Stephanopoulos, that Clinton operative, washing Stephanopoulos' feet. Couldn't be any more obvious what a sick group the Republican establishment is. Uh, let's talk to uh, Phil in Arizona. You're on the air. Go ahead. Yay. Hey, Alex. Yes, sir. Hey, yo, I just want to give a shout out to all the info warriors out there, first of all. And uh, second of all, I don't know what's up with Glenn Beck's STD and build in mind, but he is completely insane going against Donald Trump. He knows that he can defeat the globalists, and he knows Donald Trump knows that there's 26 or 24 pages uh, missing from the 9-11 commission, and he's going to expose that. Donald That's right. Look, I'm going to give out the inside baseball now. I just decided to do it. I was told by a Rolling Stone reporter and by other high-level reporters that they have incredible material on Glenn Beck of a Rubio-type nature and that Glenn Beck is blackmailed. And then that information was not put out by the White House and Media Matters because Glenn Beck is basically taking orders from the White House. There, I just went ahead and said it because I'm sick of him. I've done this for years. That that's what high-level folks told me. Glenn Beck is blackmailed. My fellow Info Warriors. I am very excited to be able to announce to you the introduction at InfoWarsLife.com of a new way to save time and money when you stock up on InfoWars Life formulations like Survival Shield X2 and Super Male Vitality. Just go to InfoWarsLife.com today, select your favorite product, click on Auto Ship before adding to cart, and choose how often you want us to send you another order. Every time you choose Auto Ship at InfoWarsLife.com, you get 10% off and you won't have to worry about running out and having to reorder next time. And of course, you can cancel with one click anytime. As you know, I'm all about the idea of a 360 win. And the new auto ship feature at InfoWarsLife.com is a sure win for everybody. A win for liberty, a win for health, and a win when it comes to big savings. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today and save 10% on your next InfoWars Life order by selecting auto ship at checkout. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139.